Hello, my name is Melon, and I just finished watching Hannibal for the third time, and this is my slideshow about my analysis, my data analysis of Hannibal. And this is real quick before we get started. There are spoilers ahead, so if you haven't finished the show, I suggest coming back after you do. And also, I do not speak Italian, French, or Japanese, so I may pronounce episode titles wrong, but I will try. This game, what I did was I watched every episode and I recorded like how many people died, what crimes were committed, who committed those crimes, um, the state where it happened, things along that line. So my notes for data collection was I only included on-screen murders except for Hannibal's visually implied victims and I'll explain that a little more later. Um, FBI kills and criminal deaths don't count in the victim totals or as criminals. Things in flashbacks don't count unless it happens in present. This was mostly relating to Miriam Lass and a little bit Abigail. So I'm going to start with some things about the characters. So Will Graham kills three criminals. He kills um, Garrett Jacob Hobbs, Randall Tier, and Francis Dollarhide. He shoots one criminal, uh, Abel Gideon. He gets shot twice. He gets stabbed twice. And he gets his head cut into with like a saw thing in Digestivo. Uh, also, uh, someone attempted to murder him four times and his family, uh, his wife and stepkid, once. Jack Crawford shoots two people. And he gets into a fight with Hannibal in, in Toronto. Hannibal Lecter is obviously the main killer. He has 42 confirmed victims during the show, including Beverly and Abigail. He gets he gets crucified in um, Yuko Zook. I think that's how you say that. Uh, he emotionally manipulates almost every character, especially Will, obviously. He gets into a fight with Jack, badly injured. He gets arrested after months on the lam, and he gets attempted murdered twice. Frederick Chilton gets almost killed every season, starting with non-consensual surgery in season one. He gets shot by Miriam in the face in season two. And in season three, he gets his lips bitten off and is set on fire. He also gets framed for the Chesapeake Ripper murders in addition to that. Abigail Hobbs killed Nicholas Boyle, had her throat cut, was held by Hannibal, was killed by Hannibal, and was also the bait for father's murder. So she's also been through a lot. Now we get into the ratings. Um, any rating you see in the slideshow is just taken from IMDb at the time I watched the episode. I uh, started in June 2022, finished in July, so I'm referring this a few months later. But the overall average was 8.69, season 1 was 8.46, season 2 was 9.0. Uh, the first half of season 3, where it's in Italy and Hannibal's on the run, is 8.47, and the second half with Francis Dollarhide and Tooth Fairy is 8.76. And if the finale is excluded from season 3B, then the average is 8.58. And I say that just because it's like, if you look at the season series finale, it's just a lot higher. So this is a, just a graph of it, and as of July 2022, when I made this slide, the show was 8.5 on IMDb, and the graph on the bottom was made summer of 2021, and many episodes have just fluctuated a little bit, but it's you can still just see visually how the ratings differ over the season. So season two, obviously, have like really high ratings consistently over nine, and then season three, it dips a little bit for the first half, and then it comes back. And now, obviously, this is a crime show, so there are a lot of crimes. So the crimes of, I recorded were murder, abduction, or kidnapping, mayhem, attempted murder, arson, and just other. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with the criminal definition of mayhem, the I copied it from dictionary.law.com. The criminal act of disabling, disfiguring, or cutting off or making useless one of the members, leg, arm, hand, foot, eye of another, either intentionally or in a fight, called maiming. I used this when I did a similar graph of the show Criminal Minds, but Hannibal definitely follows like the definition of mayhem much more. There is obviously a lot of cutting off legs and eating it. And the types of crimes I didn't record were trespassing, obstruction of justice, desecration of a corpse, cannibalism, because that's mostly just Hannibal, identity theft, desecration of art, and aiding and abetting. This is my graph of the crime. You can see, obviously, it's mostly murder. This is about murder makes up about 81% of the crimes. And then there's just some kidnapping, little mayhem, little attempted murder, a little bit of arson. So the mayhem that occurred was the removal of Miriam's arm, getting, cutting open Chilton, removal of Abigail's ear, lobotomy by Catherine Pym. So if you don't remember, she's like the bee lady with the honey. Uh, removal of Gideon's leg, Margot's sterilization, branding Hannibal, and biting Chilton's Biting Chilton's lips off and setting him on fire, that's actually two, and whatever happened to Bedelia in the post credit scene. So this comes up several times, but since it's open to interpretation, I kind of interpreted it as she did not cut off her own leg to eat it, so I just put that as mayhem. So the others that occurred, these are just ones that it's definitely illegal, I just don't know what you'd call it, or I didn't, or it's like assault, and I just didn't want to make a separate category for assault. 
putting a live man in a dead horse that's like animal cruelty and assault to the man drugging mason making me these on the face i don't know what that would be uh stealing an egg fertilizing it and putting the fetus in a pig all without marmo's knowledge or consent that's definitely illegal and stealing sperm is definitely like sexual assault but i didn't want to make a category for that if there's only one so naka choco is the only pre-season three episode with no crimes however will does kill randall tier freddie lounge is quote killed by will but is alive and so no states crimes or criminals were recorded for this episode and then these are the season three episodes with no crimes the first two are just um Hannibal is on the run in Italy and he's usually the one committing crimes so there just weren't any others and the second two are from the half of season three with Francis Dollarhide and so again it just he's not committing any murders in those episodes so now Digestivo is the crimiest episode so the crimes were the attempted murder of Will, branding Hannibal, murders of Cordell, Mason, and two random dudes Chio shot, putting a fetus in a pig, and stealing sperm. So criminals who each committed two of those crimes were Hannibal, Mason, Chio, and Margaret and Alana as one, because they committed two crimes against Mason together. The Wrath of the Lamb is the other crimeiest episode, and the crimes were attempted murder of Will, attempted murder of Hannibal, murders of three officers, murders of three officers, fake dollarhide and real dollarhide, arson, and whatever happened to Bedelia. Uh, so the criminals were Francis Dollarhide, who did the attempted murders and, like, all the murders except for himself. Hannibal killed Dollarhide, again, with the uh, aiding of Will. And then I explained the thing about Bedelia and the, the post credit scene, but we don't really know who did that, so I just marked a criminal as unknown. The number of crimes per episode, the average was 1.5. Five had no crimes. 18 had one crime, which is usually just murder. 11 had two crimes, three had three crimes, and two had four. See previous slides. The criminals. So obviously Hannah was the main criminal, as I already said, but there are, is not too many, there aren't too many others in this show. So I recorded anyone who commits a major crime, correlating, correlating to the crimes I, co- I recorded, which I explained in a previous slide. So in the following graph, they're sorted by their name and the size of the square correlates with their victim count and included all of the victims and not just the murder victims. Uh, Mason Verger et al. means that he didn't directly commit all of the crimes, but ordered people to do it for him. So it's him. It's him and his men. So the episodes with unknown murderers were just the first one and last one. So a aperitif with the couple at the very, very start, like opening scene and then Cassie Boyle, who was the girl on the antlers and then the Wrath of the Lamb, as I just explained, Bedelia. So this is my criminal graph. James Gray has the most, if you don't remember, he's the muralist, he kills 48 people. Hannibal confirmed kills 42 people. And if you add his six implied victims, he's actually tied with James Gray, and I'll get into that in the next slide. And then Francis Dollarhide is 17. He's obviously a big, big part too. Lawrence Wells, he's the totem pole guy. And then a lot of these are just like in one episode. Uh, Molly Shannon, Molly Shannon, that's just um the actress's name because the criminal is not actually named. Abel Gideon kills six. Mason Verger, I just explained, and then the four unknown, four by Tio. Then down in, down here you just have M and A, that's Margo Alana because they killed Mason. So then Hannibal's implied victims is episodes where it's implied that Hannibal killed somebody, but the body, with the exception of random limbs, is never seen or found and the murder is not shown. A paratif, oof, roti, and antipasto. I started this because in aperitif, Hannibal is hosting dinner and people are sitting down and they ask like where he got the meat from or something like that. And they ask, they say like, oh, the meat's really good. And he makes a kind of a cannibal joke. And then it kind of flashes to someone being chased through the woods, implying that Hannibal chased the guy through the woods, killed him and cooked him and served him. So the rest of these are just along the lines of that where it's implied. So Wills kills. He killed three criminals, but it's not marked as one because he's not a murderer in the sense that Hannibal. You could argue that all three of them were in self-defense. Uh, similarly, Miriam is not listed for shooting children in the face, and Margaret and Lana are both listed as criminals because they did kill together, kind of in cold blood, but also a little bit self-defense. And Abigail is listed because she killed Nicholas Boyle, and that was not self-defense or anything. Okay, so now the locations of the crimes. Uh, so some episodes had the state written on the screen, but a few did not. If I could not conclude what state it was, I just put unspecified. And starting in season three, several crimes occur in Italy. So this is all like the confirmed states. Uh, season one, like a lot of crime shows, would have just the, the location pop up in the bottom corner of the screen. Seasons two and three did not do that as much. But 
a lot of fun ones after season one did have recurring locations so that made it easy but uh Maryland is the highest with 15 the three Minnesotas obviously with connecting back to Abigail Hobbs those are like season one and then the Illinois New York that's Francis Dollhead and then the rest of these are just like the rest of these are just east coast but the other ones there were four in Italy one in Lithuania and six were unspecified and the international unspecified episodes so so in Sakazuki the mural location was not said uh, previous episode had the rejected bodies in Maryland which in Maryland, which I did say was hundreds of miles from the mural. So in Suzakana, Clark Ingram's victims were buried in an unspecified state. And then in Chizakana, Randall Tears' victims died in an unspecified state. Antipasto, Hannibal had an implied victim in France. The Fells, Dr. Fell and his wife. And he did kill someone in Italy. In Secondo, Hannibal killed in Italy and Chio killed in Lithuania. In Dolce, Chio shot Will in Italy and Digestivo. Hannibal tried to kill Will and they both abducted, uh, both were abducted in Italy. And the number of the beast is 666 and the Wrath of the Lamb. Dollar Hyde's residence is unknown as well as the cliff location where it, like the show just ends. So that was three of the unknowns. So now into the victims. So cliffhanger episodes where a victim's face unknown is relevant. I actually forgot to write down who that was. So unfortunately, I don't remember. But that's another early episode. Savero is Abigail. Is Abigail because it's they're trying to imply that Will killed her. Okay, and Kezeki, the guy who escapes the mural is unknown. And Tikiway is, is where Beverly is killed and it doesn't show her actually dying. Mizumono is obviously like everyone. This Hannibal stabs them all. The number of the beast is 666 with Reba. And finally, the Wrath of the Lamb, literal cliffhanger, Will and Hannibal jumping off a cliff. And so numbers of victims. So over 200 people were victims of a crime. Four episodes had crimes committed, but no deaths. Uh, the average number of murders per episode is 4.36. The most murders and bodies shown in one episode is 47 in Kaiseki. The mural was shown in addition to the six rejects being found. Obviously, I said that James Gray had 48 people. That last one is the guy who escaped because he did die later. And so that's all I have for my Hannibal analysis. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I do currently have a video for the show Criminal Minds. I'm currently working on one for Forensic Files, which is true. And I do plan on making more in the future. So feel free to subscribe if you want to see more videos similar to this.